Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you the two easiest and best methods to install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs. These methods are the best for bypassing major hardware checks, including TPM, Secure Boot, RAM, and others. Let's begin. The first method we will look at uses just one single command on Windows Terminal, which is the product server parameter. This is the easiest method for when you want to keep your data after the upgrade. It does not require USB or registry ARC. Let me show you how it works. So here, we have a Windows 10 PC that we want to upgrade to Windows 11. As you can see from the Windows Update page of the Settings app, the PC doesn't meet the requirements to run Windows 11. We can also check this using the PC Check app. Okay, so just click on check now and it will run the check for us so here it says this pc doesn't currently meet windows 11 system requirements because of lack of tpm 2.0 so let's go ahead and install windows 11 on it anyways before we begin first make sure you are running windows 10 which we have second ensure that you have backed up your files third We'll go ahead and download the Windows 11 ISO file from Microsoft website. So just open your favorite browser and type Windows 11 ISO download. That's it. And enter. So we click on the Microsoft website here. Scroll down. We are looking for Windows 11 ISO. That's it here. Windows 11 ISO. So we click on this download. Select this option here and confirm. And then we select the product language. In order to have the option to keep your data after the upgrade, it's essential that the Windows 11 ISO that you download has the same language as your Windows 10 PC. To check the language of your Windows 10 PC, go to Settings, go to Homes, and then go to Time and Language, and go to Language, so you can see for this Windows 10 PC, the language is English United Kingdom. This is important. So let's go back now to where to download the ISO. So now there are two options here actually for the English language. Every other English language version except United States fall under English International. Since the language of our Windows 10 PC is English United Kingdom, then we will select English International. And then we we'll confirm. And then you click on 64-bit download. And then the download will begin. I'm going to stop this now because I already have it downloaded here. So now we double-click on the ISO file to mount it. It will open like a folder. So once you mount your ISO, note the letter, the drive letter. Here it says E, right? So now we are going to open command prompt as an administrator. So just type cmd in the search bar and then on the command prompt right click it and then click run as administrator yes now just type in that same drive letter mine is e colon and enter now type in this exact command setup.exe forward slash product server and then press enter this will launch windows and it will run it as if it were installing a server so you see it says install windows server don't worry about this we are just tricking the system to not check for the hardware requirements so click on change our setup downloads you can either click on next, but I don't want it to download update drivers and optional features because of time. So I'll click on not so not right now and next. And that's it. It has given us the option to continue the installation. Accept. Now, this is where you determine whether you want to keep all your files and folders or not. So we're going to select this first option to keep files, settings and hubs because we want to do an in-place upgrade. And click on next so click on install and that's it it has begun installing the windows 11 on our pc we'll come back once the installation has completed i 
And here it is, our brand new Windows 11 OS running on an unsupported PC. You have your centralized start menu and taskbar. That's how you use the product server trick to bypass Windows 11 hardware checks. In some builds, this method may be blocked. If you get an error, try using setupprep.exe instead of setup.exe at the command line. Alternatively, you can use an older Windows 11 ISO or switch to another bypass method. The second method we will look at is Rufus. This method is best for performing clean installs where you don't keep any data on the target PC. Rufus is a free tool used to create bootable USB drives. To begin, you need three things. A USB drive that's at least 8 gig, a Windows 11 ISO file, and the latest version of Rufus. So let's go ahead and download the Windows 11 ISO file. Open your favorite browser and search for Windows 11 ISO. Download, enter. So we click on the first search result. It's a Microsoft website. Download Windows 11. You scroll down. So you download it from this section. Download Windows 11 ISO. You click on select download Windows 11. Confirm. Now we select the product language. So I'll click on English International and confirm. And click on 64-bit download. That's it. It's going to download the file. So it's about 7 gig. I'm going to cancel it now because I already have it downloaded on my desktop. So this is it here. So now let's go ahead and download Rufus. So you can just type in Rufus download on your browser and enter. This is the official site, Rufus.ie. So click on Rufus. You scroll down and download the latest version. As of today, the latest version is Rufus 4.11. So again, I'm going to cancel this because I already have it downloaded on my desktop. So we have the Windows 11 ISO and we have Rufus. So at this stage, the first thing we need to do is to create a bootable USB. And we are going to use Rufus to do that. So insert your USB drive into your PC now and then launch the Rufus application. So let's double click on Rufus. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will click on no. I already have the latest version. And then this setup page would appear. On that device, make sure your USB drive is selected. Mine is already selected automatically, USB 32. And then for the boot selection, select ISO image because that's what we want to boot from. So you need to select the specific ISO image you want to use. So you click on select. I'll go to desktop and select the Windows 11 ISO. Once you do that, Rufus will automatically fill the remaining for you. You can leave the image option as standard, that's fine. For the partition scheme, GPT is generally okay. But if your Windows PC is very old, then you can select the MBR but most likely you will be using a PC that boots using GPT. So you need to confirm which of these your PC is using. So I'm just going to leave it at GPT. Then leave everything as is and click on Start. This is actually where you instruct Rufus to bypass the hardware checks. So the first one says, remove requirement for 4 gig of RAM, secure boot and TPM. In other words, remove the requirement for Windows 11 hardware checks. So you have to select this. There are also some additional options you can select here. If you don't want to use an online Microsoft account, you can also click on it here. Create a local account with this name. I will click on this yes and then put text simplified. All right, so I'm just going to select all these except the last one and then click on OK. So here, Rufus is going to warn you that all data on the USB drive will be formatted. So if you have anything of value you want to keep, you might want to back that up first. So I'll just click on OK and you can monitor the progress here. So let's wait for it to finish. So it has finished creating the bootable USB stick. Here it says ready. So we can close this now. And that's how you use Rufus to create a bootable USB stick you can use to install Windows on unsupported hardware. Let's try this USB out on a Windows 10 PC. So we have a Windows 10 PC here. Using the PC Edge Check, we'll see whether it can run Windows 11. So let's check now. 
So you see, it said this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements because of TPM. So this PC is not supported. So we will restart the PC. During boot up, we will make it to boot from the USB stick. So we will select the USB option. So now we select the language settings. We are going to keep English UK for boot. We we'll click on next. Keyboard settings, still UK. Next. So you see, I would like to install Windows 11. I agree. Next. I don't have a product key now. So again, we select Windows Pro. Next. We accept the license terms. So the location to install Windows 11. So here we'll go with our main drive. Ready to install. Yes. Now it's installing Windows 11. So we'll just allow the process to finish and we'll come back when it's done. And here it is, our brand new Windows 11 OS running on an unsupported PC. You have your centralized start menu and taskbar. So that's how you use the Rufus USB stick to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So there you have it. The two best methods to install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs. Choose the method that is appropriate for your use case. Share your thoughts on this in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and share the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.